All right, cool kids. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Mantis Shrimp. This shrimp packs the world's most powerful punch. Hey, you're watching Cameron Explorers. That's me right there. And this is me riding a wiener dog holding a bucket of North Korean KFC. So if you're into that, subscribe. When an argument comes to blows, it's especially devastating for the mantis shrimp. Their punches are powerful enough to break glass. So when they fight amongst themselves over a disagreement, it could be fatal. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. The mantis shrimp packs such a mean punch, smashing its victim's shells with the force of a 22 caliber bullet. I mean, just look at this bicep. The mantis shrimp has a powerful punch, so it can kill almost all of its enemies in a single hit. Okay, so let's look into some very cool facts about this monster. Number one, there are many different types of mantis shrimps, but basically there's only two subclasses. We'll call it the spear boy, and the smash boy pretty self-explanatory one of them uses its giant hand to stab and the other uses its unga bunga club number two their punch is so fast that it creates heat number three their punch has a shock absorption dlc added in number four they're actually not a shrimp or a mantis there's some kind of weird mix. Uh, number five, they have the most complex eyes of all the animals in the animal kingdom. They are able to see uh, a different type of spiraling light than no other animal can see. Now, here with us today is Sam Onella to tell us his thoughts on shrimp. Hey kids, time for another hot steamy load of knowledge dripping down your neck and chest. So I've always believed that there's no point in having many small things when you can have one big thing. Why have many shrimp when you can have one lobster? Why drink many glasses of milk when you can eat one udder? Why have many cheese its when you can have one cheese them? Patent pending. So I kind of quickly spoke about how when they attack, they create heat. Now their limbs move so quickly that the water around them actually boils. This process is known as super captivation. When these captivation bubbles collapse, it produces an undersea shockwave that can kill prey even if the mantis shrimp misses the target. The force of these collapsing bubbles also produces temperatures in the range of the several thousand kelvins and emits. Tiny little bursts of light from this heat. Oh, hello, I am a mantis shrimp. See my murder sticks? There's many like it, but these ones are mine. Another very cool fact is that aquariums actually can't house mantis shrimps because they tend to slaughter every other creature they're in the tank with. And what's worse is that they can break the aquarium glass. Their punch is so strong it can go right through the glass. So you need extra strong bulletproof glass just to have an aquarium for this little tank. So this is why the mantis shrimp is my new favorite animal, because in the presence of such extraordinary light and beauty, it embraces darkness. It brings upon death with the brilliance of a dying star. It is Genghis Khan bathed in sherbet ice cream. The mantis shrimp is the harbinger of blood-soaked rainbows. It is bright, it is dark, and it is beautiful. So, while the mantis shrimp isn't necessarily endangered, one thing I wanted to talk about was a company I started. Uh, it is called Sock Bear, and our motto is buy a pair, save a bear. Every time you buy a pair of socks, I donate, I personally donate $1 to uh, WWF, the World Wildlife Foundation, to help save endangered animals. So, if that's your kind of thing and you like socks, uh, please check it out. Uh, the link's in the description. Thank you. See you next time.